First time in St. Augustine Marching 100 band is preparing to play to an international audience. The high school students have been asked to perform at the site of one of the great turning points of the 20th century history. Meg Ferris takes us to the school and inside the intense preparation. In the heat of the day, for hour upon hour, one, two, ready, play. The young men of the St. Aug Marching 100 are getting ready for the world stage. Monday before sunrise, the Purple Knights will fly to Europe. Our program has always supported our veterans, but it's quite an honor to go over there to France to be able to celebrate the 80th anniversary of D-Day. And the reason that we're going is because we want the world to know that we support this. <laughs> Before they go to perform four times in Normandy and Paris, they're learning a new repertoire of patriotic music. They spent a day at the World War II Museum learning what happened on those beaches in 1944, how more than 4,400 young men around their ages died so that freedom wouldn't. It's really amazing that like people, even at 16 years old and older, were fighting. So like we have to be grateful for everybody that's out that basically survived and the people that also sacrificed themselves because without them being out there sacrificing, we wouldn't be here right now. It means a lot, you know, it really put a perspective on things and it makes us become like more understanding of other people's situations, so. I could tell that parents really felt bad and family members felt bad for their children or their cousin or somebody that died in World War II. Like, imagine that could be me and my mother went mad. I think the young men really saw it come real for them. You cannot walk into the National World War II Museum and not feel something. It is a very, very moving place. The concept of a marching band in Europe is, well, foreign. The road to Normandy started a year and a half ago. Only band members who earn good grades are going. In 10 months, the school raised $702,000 to pay for the trip. Most came from the Floyd family, who are supporters of the World War II Museum. The rest was a community effort from alumni, community, friends, and foundations. These students say St. Aug builds lifelong character. Discipline, respect, and brotherhood, that's the main three things. Some even say it kept them from street life. Now, they are just as proud to show the world how one small school in the 7th Ward is developing successful, productive, patriotic American young men. Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana.